All right, what's going on everybody? So in this video, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to farm in Darksiders 3. Not that it's particularly hard to figure out. It's just that it is a little bit different from recent games I've played. So I just wanted to make a video uh, making it clear on exactly how to farm. Um, and I haven't played the previous Darksiders games, so I don't exactly know how farming worked in those games so i'm just making this video to make it clear for anybody who might buy the game who's unsure so in darksiders 3 you kill enemies you get their souls like in many other games uh, the souls are used to either upgrade your character or buy consumable items the main thing different in darksiders 3 versus most other games is in most other games when you kill enemies you leave the area and come back those enemies typically are respawned that's not the way it work, works in Darksiders 3. Once you kill those enemies, even if you leave the area and come back, they do not respawn. So the only way to get them to respawn is to pretty much die, okay? And then the enemies will come back. So you get to an area in which you want to farm, you kill a whole bunch of enemies, and then you allow one of the enemies to kill you. When you come back to that area after you die, you will see your souls pretty much floating around in the air. So you just hit your souls that will allow you to collect them back and then you kill all the enemies in the area all over again well not all of them you typically need to leave one of the enemies so they can kill you because if you go far enough if you go too far of that area and you hit a checkpoint after you've killed all the, all of those enemies they will not respawn so you have to be careful not to go too far and hit a checkpoint because if you kill all enemies you hit a checkpoint that's done so you, you can't go back they will not respawn i've tried it also jumping to your death does not work in this game i've tried it you have to actually let an enemy kill you if you try to kill all the enemies then jump to your death all that'll happen is the game will just respawn you near to the spot where you fell out of bounds at so you have to allow an enemy to kill you so it's just pretty much a rinse repeat cycle you kill the enemies you allow them to kill you you go back and get, get all the collected um, souls that you dropped and then you kill all those enemies all over again in that same area and it will just keep accumulating um, so far I don't know if there's a limit to how many times you can kill these enemies um, and, 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 and die and respawn and they'll stop coming back I have not hit that limit if there is one but that is simply how you farm in Darksiders 3. Nothing secretive or profound or anything like that. I just wanted to share it because when I first started playing the game and I killed a whole bunch of enemies, uh, I was pretty much wondering why they weren't coming back. I thought they would they would come back if I left the area. Like if I went to, because you can fast travel in this game. I fast traveled to somewhere else and came back and it was barren. I was like, where the hell are all the enemies at that I killed before? Realizing, then I realized they didn't respawn. They don't respawn like that. So that's it, y'all. Hope this video helped. Make sure you hit the like button. I'm out of here. Peace.